Hey guys, this is going to be another quick Linux command video. Check the link in the description for more info and for copy and paste examples. The Linux DF command shows the amount of space used and available on a file system. So <clears throat> show file system usage for all or most file systems like this. So DF-H, H for human readable. So you, you can see all file systems. A lot of these aren't real disks, like you have tempfs, uh, yeah, tempfs, efi vars, um, stuff like that. A lot of, lot of junk that's not real file systems, but you have a few that are real file, sy file systems, like these right here. Um, two actual disks on my system. And what else? We have a, another NVMe disk. Here. This is a partition, another partition right here. So anyways, um, <clears throat> So let, let's say if you want to show the usage for the file system of the current directory. So for example, in my home directory. So um, I have everything under, this is all under the root directory. So if I say df-h dot, um, that's the current disk I'm using that my home directory is in. It's gonna show you uh, it's mounted on root. So that's within the root directory on the root partition, right? dev on NVMe 0 N1 P3, so that's the partition. Here's the size, how much is used, how much is available, usage percentage, and yeah, about 600 of that is uh, just because uh, I downloaded the Bitcoin blockchain just to try it out, so I have about 600 or so gigs of uh, Bitcoin data on there, just sitting there taking up a ton of space. I can wipe that out anytime I need to. Um, but anyways, it's just sitting there. Um, in any case, um, you can say um, show the usage, um, let, let's see if you have a given file, you can say like um, I'm just going to touch a file for a good example. So I'm in my home directory, so touch test1.txt and if, if you say um, df-h uh, test1.txt, you can see uh, you know, the fi same file system, right? But you can check uh, the usage for whichever file system this file is on. So let's say if you had var log, uh, and let's just say um, font config dot log, right? So this log file, you can say df dash h and check, uh, and it's the same file system, but you could check, um, you know, if if you had some given file and you you don't want to look up which uh, disk it's on or or how your how mounts are working on your system, say maybe you have your var on a separate partition or something, you can just run df h and specify the file and it will show you the uh, you, you know the stats for that the file system that this file is on. So uh, th there's that, and um, you, you can show usage only for ext4 file systems. So if you said df h dash t, t for type, ext4. So anything that's an ext4 file system, it's gonna show you. So I only have one of those, and that is right here, ext4. So df-h, so yes, because not all of these are ext4, so this is a, an xfat file system. This is probably also xfat, and uh, definitely this is um, probably also xfat since it's an EFI directory and it's better just to have those readable by everything. Um, yeah, so the only mounted file system, um, yeah, so only the this one mounted file system is uh, ext4. Now I have some other, if I mounted some other disks, I, I, it would show me some others, like I have five SSDs in the system so I could mount some more and show you those. But for now, I only have one one disk on the system with, with uh, an ext4 file system, and this is how you'd filter for that. So um, also worth noting, so df-h is human readable, so it will tell you like, you know, gigabytes, gigabytes, megabytes, kilobytes, right? So it picks the most appropriate one and shows you that. Um, you know, if you don't have the dash h, it's just gonna show them in 1K blocks, right? So. This is how many 1K blocks, not not super useful, but if you want everything to be uh, you, you know, homogenous or whatever, if you want them to all be consistent so you can compare them and sort them, you, you might do that. But um, if you want to be human readable, yeah, like if maybe a script is reading this and sorting this or wh whatever, right? But if you, if you want it to be human readable, just a dash H, this is the default command I usually run when I ch want to check. It, I usually just run df dash h. That's that's a common one, and even more common, just dot for the current directory wherever you are, and 
just check that like that. So yeah, that those are the, the most common things. There are some other options you can run. Um, check the link in the description for more info on that. And there's even more info in the man page if you check that. But that's everything I wanted to show you for today. Remember, check the links in the description for more info. Hit the subscribe button for more useful content like this. We also have a ton of other more interesting content covering things like coding, hardware, software, servers, Raspberry Pis, 3D printing, and a whole lot more. Hopefully you found this useful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.